today we meet Amanda. Uh, I'm so excited. This is gonna be a great day. She's a fitness expert from Canada about to make her big move to Southern California. We're in Los Angeles today where you yeah. always wanted to be. Yeah. <laughs> She's about to see three amazing homes in some very upscale LA neighborhoods. Whoa. Which of these three luxury homes will check all the boxes? We've arrived at the top. <laughs> wow, that was um, a, a, real a workout. Hike. Stay tuned. I'm gonna blow your mind. Get ready. Welcome to our show. Today we'll be meeting Amanda, who's moving here with Rob, her boyfriend from Canada. We just wanted to find like a really fun spot to be in LA. She's a fitness expert and she needs the perfect California style house to fit their needs. I'm excited to show her homes from Hancock Park to Beverly Hills. Which one will she choose? Hi, Amanda. Hi. I'm so excited. <laughs> this is going to be a great day. I'm good. How are you doing? Good. So we're in Los Angeles today where you yes. always wanted to be. Yes. <laughs> so we've been working really hard over the last four years to get ourselves to come to LA. We're really pumped. It's always been on our list of places to live. So, and we understand that LA is a very lucrative place to live in terms of real estate and location is you know, key and expensive. And I'm going to be showing you three homes, but I'd love for you to give me a quick overview of what you really want in a house. Well, Robert and I love to entertain, so we definitely want an entertainer's house, not a family style house. We don't have kids. For us, a, a huge need, especially for Robert, is um, a big backyard with a pool. He's very busy today. He's got a lot of meetings, so he was like, you know what? You go off and do it on your own. We want a big backyard with a pool and a hot tub a really nice big master bedroom and a good kitchen so I can shoot good content. For what? Uh, for my fitness brand, okay. Hot Body Secret. So a little bit about me, I am a fitness professional. I used to be a trainer and now I write and sell my own fitness products to help people lose weight and feel awesome about themselves. So we have to have an area, or even if it has a gym, you'd love that, but if not, an area where oh, you if can it had create. an in-home gym, yes, that's, I totally forgot about that. Okay, yeah. I think I've got that covered for you today. But the first house that I'm gonna show you is in Los Angeles, in the heart of Los Angeles, off of Wilshire, on Oakwood Drive. Yeah, it's, it's gorgeous. It's a beautiful house, as you can see. It's a very authentic mm -hmm, um, it is. design from the outside but I'm really eager to see what you think on the inside. Me too. So you're ready to take a look? Yes. Let's go. Okay, here we go. We're inside the house. We've got over 4,000 square wow, feet. Nice. I know you like outdoor space I know, I'm looking. <laughs> and you see it, but I wanted to show you the family area. Great. And where you would um, entertain because it is compartmentalized a little bit, but if you look from this angle, you'll see that it has this flow to the outside, which yep. is a nice thing. Mm -hmm. um, breakfast area, dining room, nice big kitchen. Yeah, it's great. You know, I like things that are a little more open space. I can, you know, it's great. I see that it can be a really nice use of space for entertaining. I like a little more bright, like, you know, a little higher ceilings and yeah. just more natural light. Understandable. The kitchen is a little compartmentalized because it's got the But I love this. Yeah, this big, awesome. big island, is which is nice, and you've got a great that is Viking cooktop and <laughs> like high-end chef's appliances, yeah. which I know you love. Yeah. Family room here. Nice. Very homey. Very homey. Yeah, it looks really comfy and cozy. I like the fireplace. I actually like that it wraps all the way around. That's so really it's nice. a dual, it almost feels like it is a dual side, yeah. actually, because it will you can use it on this side and this side. Mm. What do you think of the style? Is it contemporary enough for you? Well, you know what? I think because of their furniture, it's not, but you could make it contemporary yeah. with the right furniture. I'm glad and, you see beyond that. Yeah, and also just the paint colors and stuff like that. So definitely, you know, it wouldn't be too much work okay, good. <laughs> to change up. So let's go see the master and see if sure. it's big enough for you guys, and then I'll take you outside. Great. Okay. We're going into the mastery of this hallway with the bathroom here, which is a nice size. Mm -hmm. Feels very closed in and dark. Okay. A little dark for what we like. 
I could see that. Maybe we can brighten up the walls. Maybe not. Again, it's a feeling for you. It's yeah. got to feel right. But look at this view you have yeah, from your master nice. bedroom. The ceiling thing still gets me. We, we really like having the tall ceilings. Potentially there's a way that we could raise the ceilings a little bit and add in a little bit more light. But the view is, is gorgeous. I love it. And outside looks like it's got a nice big backyard. Okay, let's go look at that. This is so beautiful. Oh, wow. Look. I so love you've it. got the pool and the jacuzzi, a great area to lay out. Wow. You've got this yeah. grassy area and you're overlooking the 15th hole at the Wilshire wow. Country Club. Rob is going to have to get out there more. <laughs> He's he got no excuse. He'll be practicing <laughs> here every day. It'll be really easy because yeah. you're right on the hole and then you have this really nice view of the golf course. That's great, yeah. Um, That's awesome, I love it. You've, and you've got a little sitting area there with a waterfall, Beautiful. which is really pretty. Mm. It's quaint. It's a great size backyard, and the size of the pool is great. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And the hot tub looks big enough, too. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I like the all green space. You don't feel the neighbors. That's great. You, it's hedged on the sides, yeah. which is great. So it's very private. So we're in one of the best locations. It's very old Hollywood glamour here. It um, is. Back before there was a Beverly Hills, this was the area where all the celebrities were buying. Really? It's close wow. to Hancock Park. You're overlooking this beautiful country club. You have over 15,000 square feet of lot size. Wow, that's great. Huge that's, benefit that's there. That's way bigger than most places. So there's a lot of value mm -hmm. here. So what do you think they're asking on this house? 5.5 million. Okay, not bad. Five million seven hundred fifty thousand. Oh, there we go. Right, that so two hundred fifty thousand off, but it's still well within your price point and yep. far below your budget. Yes. So one to consider. Uh, yeah, I mean, potentially. I mean, you know, there, it's it's a family style house, right? And we like a little bit more openness and entertaining versus family style. Okay. The lot size is amazing. The pool, the backyard, that's great. The inside is a little too dark for what we like and a little like too closed in, but otherwise it's a really nice nice house and it, it's a great price. So, you know, it could be something to consider. It is great value, so who knows? We'll see depending on all the other houses. Uh, yeah, my mind has not been made up yet. I'm really looking forward to seeing these other houses. Keep it in mind, but you just wait, because house number two, I'm gonna blow your mind. Can't wait. It's not even <laughs> on the market. Ooh. It's newly built. She knows what I like. And I think you're gonna fall in love. <laughs> so are you ready to see house number two? I so am. Yeah. Let's go. Yay. We have two more luxury homes to see on this LA house hunt. First, we check out this four bedroom Beverly Hills Beauty in Benedict Canyon. Then we're off to West Hollywood to check out this six bedroom Spanish colonial that's full of old world charm. Stay tuned. Looks great. Wow. <laughs> so I love the mountains. Okay. That is really cool. Yep. I definitely don't love how close that busy street is. We're on Benedict Canyon, which is a cache street in Beverly Hills, but it is a throughway, so we're gonna have a little bit of this busy. going on. We've got three levels of living space. So let's see if this tickles your fancy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, who knows? <laughs> It's a very vertical Ooh. style of living. Yeah. Here's your master bedroom. It is on the second level. That's interesting, second level. So basically, because downstairs is the main entrance, everybody's gonna be walking by my bedroom. <laughs> That's correct. You've got the elevator okay. that goes to all the levels, which right. we saw from the garage all the way up. You've got the stairs in the middle of the house. The master is on the second level and then the main living space is upstairs. Okay. But you said you wanted a lot of light. Yeah, I mean, that, that <laughs> is a glass. bonus. That's definitely. You said modern. The only thing is, is that like, if I want to walk around, you know. Comfortably. Everyone's going to see me. That's true. <laughs> what do you think about the master bedroom? It's a little narrow, mm -hmm. which I don't love, but okay. it's not the worst. You have this open concept. It's really open. Yeah, it's very open. <laughs> so you're, I, I would be scared that the neighbors are going to call the cops on the office. <laughs> well, here's the thing. You could always work that out with the window coverings. Right. I think my question to you is how do you feel about having, for you and Rob, this open uh, bathroom concept here in the bedroom? Um, are you happy not, with that? It's not so bad. You okay. know, the only thing is, it's like, you know when you get out of the shower and you're freezing? That, you know, in the wintertime, 
that would be the only concern. He's going to have to come and tell yeah. you. <laughs> and also, when we have guests, we're going to always have to make sure that that door it's is closed. closed right, and because they can so see everything. So that might be a little hard to coordinate. Well, we saw the one bedroom downstairs. This is a four bedroom house. So there were an office convertible room that you can turn into a bedroom. Is that the closet, by the way? Yes. You want to see it? Yeah. I don't know I'll, if you're going to yeah. feel like it isn't <laughs> big enough for you. That would basically only fit my stuff and then Rob would have only shoes. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Robert is, is a, a very light sleeper and just having a lot of the noises coming through, it just, you know, and, and the privacy thing. We, we want a little bit more privacy. Well, let's go upstairs and see if you like the living space. There's a jacuzzi and a pool, so oh? we'll see if you like that. Speaking my language. We've arrived at the top. Wow, <laughs> that was um, a, a real a workout. Hike. <laughs> but I knew you could handle it, being the fitness guru that you are, so I knew you yes. could handle it. Here's your kitchen. kitchen booty. <laughs> it is. This is a really great open hmm. concept. You've got a banquette yeah. here, very modern banquette. It's got amazing views. Yeah, outside. that view is stunning, for sure. I also love that it's very bright in here. So it would be great to do your shooting food videos. The reason why I brought you here, it has more of that open studio feel. Mm -hmm. And for your shooting purposes, for your videos and your show, this would be amazing. Mm -hmm. You have beautiful daylit lighting. This is your formal dining room. It's not really a designated formal right. dining room, but it's a transitionary dining room. Right. And then you've got the living room here with all this natural light coming in. Yeah, I mean, I don't know that this space would be big enough for the kind of parties that we throw and everything like that because we like to have big parties. The compartmentalizedness of the house, uh, I don't love. The nice thing is, they did try to optimize as much of the space as possible, yeah. but it does have some areas that for you might not work. They do have the pool. This is a dipping, one lap dipping pool. Uh, they do have, it's, it's I mean, but I mean, at least they have neat. it. I kind of like it. <laughs> it's cute. I think it's, you know, a moment where you can do your photography right. or shooting would look beautiful. There's the jacuzzi. Right. Okay. It's very yeah, close I see it. and you have an outdoor kitchen. But this would be your private area because entertaining. Yeah, no one's. Here. No one can really see yeah. you. You would use your front decks probably. So yeah. I, I do feel the, the concern that you might yeah. have and this being the not the right house. Right. right. You know, in a and lot you know, of ways. for me, like there's no sun. So, you know, a dipping pool for me doesn't make any sense back here because I want to be like basking in the sun and then roll over and be hot and dip myself in. So I would rather it be in the front desk. Okay. You know, okay. The, the pool, the dipping pool. But do you like it for shooting? And, and oh, yeah, the this palette is great, great for shooting. For shooting yeah. okay. Especially not having direct sunlight for shooting is perfect. Well, I did want to surprise you. I know the sunlight would be really important, but you see up there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the width of the roof is your entire rooftop deck. Oh, so yeah, you, there you go. always have sun there. <laughs> I think that would be great. Yeah. Okay. I'm all about the sunbathing set then. So you will see the sunset from up there. You can sunbathe. You can have your mojito, coffee, whatever you want upstairs. Okay. And I know, you know, going up the stairs for you is not a big deal. So it could be fun. There are stairs there oh, that take awesome. you up there. So that knocks Great. out the desire for the sun. So yeah. it's all up there. That's awesome. Okay. What can work for us is definitely the rooftop with the pool and the hot tub. And actually there is a great outdoor entertaining space, which is great for us. And the barbecue is awesome. So after seeing everything with a little over 3,000 square feet, four bedrooms on Benedict Canyon in Beverly Hills, mm -hmm. brand new construction. What do you think the yeah, asking price is for the hard. house? Uh, I would say three five. Who told you? Wait, is that right? Is that right, Anna? Yes. You're totally right. It's a three point so five million dollar ass. Yeah. Almost there, but not quite. So we'll see. So mm -hmm. I have one more to show you. Again, I picked three very different styles, knowing what you wanted in the details of the house. So let's go look at house yeah. number three. That's down the street off Sunset Plaza, Ooh, which I like you it. love. Yeah. Both houses are so different. We went from more traditional Hollywood to very contemporary LA. And I, you know, I'd like something kind of in the in between the two. So let's go take a look at house number okay. three. <laughs> There's only one more house left to see on this LA house hunt. We check out this six bedroom Spanish colonial perched in the hills above the world famous Sunset Strip. Stay tuned. Hey Amanda, we're at house number three. Yay! Off the Great. Sunset Plaza Drive location, which you love. 
You've been telling me for so long, I want a house off of Sunset Plaza. I know, I think it's great. It's the iconic Hollywood. I love it. I cannot wait. Okay, and it's really unassuming, like you have no idea what you're going to see no when you idea. walk in, but I'm going to surprise you. I do love the outside though. I think this is so epic. Amazing. So let's go inside because I'm yes. trying to show you. Whoa. I know it's totally different than what you had expected, but I just want you to give me the time to show you. It's so unique. It really um, is. And yeah. it's gonna just open up as we walk through it. So I wanna show you the room on this side because it's the formal living room. Let's, Let's go it. see this before you say anything okay. else. I really love old design and the 1930s kind of look. Wow. So a lot of dark woods, which yeah. make it feel rich. I know that the design is quite specific, but yeah. it's the style of obviously the current owner. Yeah. If we look past that, because that's a very personal style, mm -hmm. look at the detail work in the scene. I know, this is epic. I mean, you don't even see houses <sighs> like this anymore. I'm so glad you appreciate <laughs> it. I just think it's so beautiful and unique and authentic. It's very dark. Um, there's not a lot of natural light, and I'd like a little bit more natural light. But I so like this that. is only one of the rooms with detail. I can't wait to show you the Super library. Fun. Love so it. let's go that way. Okay. We'll pass by the main living area again. So I really wanted you to get the full effect of this insane oh my gosh. library. Yes. You've got double epic. height ceilings. Mm -hmm. Look at the ceiling up here. That's so cool. The detail is gorgeous. And it gives a so lot of architectural awesome. significance. You know when you're yeah. in this room. Turn on the fireplace for you because oh, I thought so you nice. want to feel the full effect here. So romantic. Isn't this just gorgeous? I do love it. It's and great. If you look up there. That's an office. So oh. I know you and Rob wanted your individual office spaces because you work in the same environment. Mm -hmm. That can be yours. And then there's a guest house, which he oh. can make his office. Perfect. That's great. So you won't hear each other. You can even make that an area where you can shoot yeah. as well. It's such a nice big area. Yeah, it's gorgeous. And I just think this room is so special. I love that there's the study slash library. I think that's a really cool touch. Being that the kitchen is so important to you, Amanda, Ah, what do so you think cute. Of the size here? I think it's great. You know, I, the one thing I am missing, I really do like having an island. We can put that there. Yeah, but there is good counter space. It is a little tough because of the the boxed inness to do some videos, but I'm sure we could probably figure out a way to set it up. You know, the kitchen is okay. I wish it was a little bit bigger and less boxed in. There's a great outdoor space to lay out. It's private, and there's yeah. your pool. And you know, again, we're in a bit of a noisier area because there's construction going on down the street, which again, I always tell my clients, it brings up the value of your home because there's obviously a lot of construction right. going on. Although Rob really, really, really does not want to be uh -oh. around a construction <laughs> pit uh -oh. at all. Okay. This house is great. It has the entertainer's aspect to it, but it has a lot of road noise and not a lot of privacy for the pool. This is the master bedroom. You have a really nice view. You see a little bit of the city. Yeah. And this is your master. So it's a nice size, mm. but I wanted to make sure you liked it because <laughs> I know that you wanted a big- it's definitely like half the size of the one that we have right now. But I do like that there's the vaulted ceiling so it makes it appear bigger or just feel bigger. The master bedroom's quite small and we'd like a bigger bedroom. Both of us are bigger people, like we work out, we're, you know, we're tall, so we want more space. So Amanda, we just got done yes. seeing house number three. Above Sunset Plaza Drive, we have enough private areas. You've got this double height ceiling in the library. I do You've love got that. separate area for your guests. A lot here, right? Yeah. Really, really great house. What do you think the asking price is here? Oh, you know, because it's in the iconic area that it's in, and it's so close to Sunset Boulevard, I feel like, you know, it's probably got to be around 7.25 mil. 7.99. Wow. Yes. So I actually was going to say 7.9 <laughs> million, approximately, right? And I think that you're right. All of those things come into play in the asking yeah. price. So three very, very different houses yep. in very different locations of Los Angeles, all kind of satisfying your California quintessential living, which yes. you're looking for. You have a lot to think about. A lot. Well, you know, they're also different and it's really hard to, to figure it out, you know, because they're all so different. I like aspects of every single house. <laughs> I'm gonna let you go and think about it and then we'll regroup. Okay. And you'll tell me your decision. Sounds good. Okay, wonderful.
We've seen all three houses on this LA house hunt, and when we come back, Amanda will make the big decision. But I need to find out from you which one it's gonna be. Stay tuned. Welcome back. We've seen all three homes on this LA house hunt. The first home was a traditional four bedroom, five bath home in the historic Hancock Park neighborhood of Los Angeles. The second home was a scenic four bedroom, four and a half bath in Beverly Hills 90210. And the last house was a six bedroom, seven bath, Spanish colonial above the Sunset Strip in West Hollywood. It's time for Amanda to make the big decision. Well, you know, they're all so different and it's really hard to, to figure it out, you know, because they're all so different. I like aspects of every single house. Well, I'm not gonna leave you out here for too long uh, by yourself because good. I know that you've been on the phone with Rob talking about the decision-making process because there's so much to choose from, yeah. they're so different. So what yeah. did you guys talk about? You guys showed us three very different houses and the price range is very different and very vast. So that, that there's a lot to consider for sure. But I can tell you this, that we would want to choose between house number one and house number three. So number two is eliminated completely, not even a consideration. Yeah, it's just not our style. We want a house that's more sprawling, lengthwise inland, you know, a little more private, like I was saying. If I want to walk around, you know. Comfortably. Everyone's going to see me. That's true. <laughs> it just feels too much like you're in a fishbowl. I know there's a lot to think through, yes. but I need to find out from you which one it's gonna be. Based on what we talked about, I think house number one is what we're gonna choose. I think that's a good one. You know, it is turnkey ready with a few minor cosmetic changes, but we could build on it. I think that house number one is our choice because, you know, we can, we can make it more our own. House number one has that big, beautiful backyard. It's an iconic neighborhood. I love that. The pool's amazing. The kitchen is amazing. The master bedroom could be bigger. But I think those are tweaks that are easily made. That's a fantastic decision. You have this 15,000 square foot lot. So I'm really excited. It's been mm -hmm. so much fun showing Yay. you houses today, and I'm so glad you chose something that you really like. Yeah, me too. Thank you so much for taking me through. You're welcome. Great. Congratulations Yay. on the choice. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Tatiana Deravanesian with Dream Living LA. I'm super excited to have you guys here. I just wanted to thank everybody for your support and following me on Instagram. I've had incredible feedback from everybody all over the world about uh, the content I'm providing and the properties that I'm showcasing for you guys. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram and also make sure to go to my YouTube channel, Dream Living LA TV, and press the subscribe button. I will see you soon.